Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. Once upon a time, whenever someone left or was released from WWE, YouTube comment sections would be full of the joke. What parting wrestler's WWE name with the letters switch round doing in the impact zone? For example, I can't wait to see Swack Jagger in TNA, but Impact Wrestling have since fallen on hard times, and they no longer have Dixie Carter's checkbook to sign every WWE cast off. So in their place, we now have the Bullet Club offering them t-shirts on Twitter. Several sites are reporting that former Cruiserweight Champion Neville walked out on Monday's episode of Raw just hours before the show started, causing the main event to be rewritten to Callisto beating Enzo Amore to win the belt, where it was originally meant to be Neville wrestling Amore in a non-title bout. Apparently, the King of the Cruiserweights has requested his release from WWE. The Young Bucks were the first to act, tweeting Neville a picture of a Bullet Club t-shirt, and now their fellow faction member Marty Skell has made an offer of his own, posting an image of himself alongside Neville and the not-so-subtle, despite what the tweet says caption, I need a New Japan Junior Division tag partner, that Neville has requested his release from WWE has been reported by both the very reliable Pro Wrestling Sheet and F4W Online. But the equally trustworthy PW Insider now claim numerous WWE sources have denied he's left the company. But try telling that to Kevin Owens, who appears to be one of Neville's closest friends backstage from when he retweeted an image of them both in August with the caption, just me having a chat with one of the absolute best wrestlers on the planet. Following the reports of Neville quitting in WWE, Owens has fueled the speculation, reposting that black and white image of him and Neville backstage on Instagram. And that isn't the only one of KO's buddies who might be leaving the company. As some friendly advice to stop that from happening anymore, Kevin, maybe stop powerbombing them all on ring aprons. Pro Wrestling Sheet are reporting that backstage producer Jimmy Jacobs is no longer working at WWE because of major heat on him backstage. But why is a backstage producer leaving WWE, such significant news for us viewers of Raw and SmackDown. Jacob's wrestling career spans almost two decades, the majority of which he spent in Ring of Honor, where he is a five-time world tag team champion. That's where he was in memorable storylines, feuds and factions with Kevin Owens, Steve Carino, Seth Rollins, and Sami Zayn's trainer El Generico, including one angle so controversial, where a hung upside down Jay Briscoe had his blood drip onto Jimmy, ROH had to edit it off their pay-per-view release. Jacobs joined WWE as a writer in March 2015, and he's arguably become one of the backstage team's unsung heroes. Chris Jericho revealed it was Jimmy who came up with the idea of the list of Jericho, and it's been reported Paul Heyman worked closely with Jacobs when writing Goldberg's promos for his second run with the company. Several weeks ago on SmackDown when Owens was suing WWE in storyline, his list of demands included two limos, one for me, one for my buddy Jimmy. But according According to Pro Wrestling Sheet, it was Jimmy's other wrestling friends who got him released. Apparently there was major heat on Jacobs for posting a photo on Instagram with WWE's current arch nemesis, the Young Bucks, Marty Skrull and Hangman Page, during their Bullet Club invasion of Raw several weeks ago. WWE were very unhappy with the stunt and are thought to have sent the Young Bucks cease and desist notices for their two sweet merchandise in revenge. Dave Meltzer has since confirmed Jimmy's release as being 100% on the money. And in probably the most definitive news in lieu of an actual statement, Jacobs himself seems to have posted a t-shirt mocking his firing on pro wrestling tees. Catch up with the whole Neville walking out on Raw story! And which brand won this week's WWE War, Raw or Smackdown? Click the videos to the left to find out, press subscribe and support WrestleTalk on Patreon. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.